Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lisa Campos, Community Affairs Director with your Positively Tampa Bay. The NAACP of Hillsborough County funds college scholarship programs for local students, as well as fund a number of other programs aimed at helping the entire family. On November the 4th, they will hold their annual Freedom Fund Dinner that draws community leaders and folks from about 500 in all. Here with more is the first vice president, Dr. Samuel Wright, Sr. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so much it's, for having me. It's right around the corner. I know that the folks at the NAACP Hillsborough County branch have been working about working on this around the clock. Tell us about the event. The location seems spectacular. Bush Gardens, correct? Well, we're excited to have Bush Gardens to host the event this year in Desert Grill. We will commence with a silent auction and reception at, at six o'clock, and then dinner will will be at seven. Dinner is being hosted by OSI. It's the parent company of Outback Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are just ecstatic to look forward to uh, this a wonderful evening. Who will be delivering the keynote address? Uh, Leon Russell uh, lives in our community, by the way, and he is the director of the Equal Opportunity Office in Pinellas County. He has been involved in the National Board of Directors for the NAACP for some time. And just recently, he was elected the uh, vice chair of the National Board. Uh, with Rosalind Brock, who is the mm -hmm. president of the National uh, Board, the chair, rather. And so we're excited that we have a local person in our community who will come to us and let us know what's happening At with the, the NAACP level. and how we're working to promote one nation and one dream. Our D. O'Reilly will serve as the MC. We're very excited about that. And you have some amazing auction items that have come in. Uh, Coach Dungy has contributed what? Uh, we have a football autograph by uh, Coach uh, Tony Dungy. We have a wonderful package by one of our um, honorary co-chairs. Bright House did a nice, nice package for us for internet connections, etc. We have um, a good friend of mine from Rolls Royce uh, of Tampa Bay. Uh -huh. It's going to do a Rolls Royce for the evening. Uh, we have a few life memberships in the NAACP. We will have on silent Wonderful. auction and a lot of great weekend stays. So we're inviting people to bring their checks, <laughs> debit cards, or credit cards, so they can pick up those items before they leave Bush Gardens on Thursday evening, November fourth. Let's give our viewers at home the information on the screen. Make it as easy for them as possible to see. The Freedom Fund dinner happens at Bush Gardens on November the fourth. It starts at six p.m. Tickets are still available. For details on that, you. Can can call the number on your screen. Before we go, I'd love to ask you about some of the other programs that you do year-round. Tell us about the Empowerment Center. Well, the NAACP is sort of on the cutting edge, uh, this, this branch, uh, in terms of what's happening in the nation with Empowerment Centers. Very few of them may have them, but we have a collaboration with Hillsborough County Government, the City of Tampa, and the School Board, where we have worked um, to and fro to get more minority contractors, regardless of the ethnicities, contracts with the school board and other governmental entities. And believe it or not, many of the families have benefited by those contracts, and our program is responsible for that. Well, congratulations. We look forward to November the 4th. If you would like to learn more about the NAACP in Hillsborough County, here's their mailing address for you to send your donations, as Dr. Wright says. And also you can call them at 813-234-8683. Thanks for watching, everybody.